welcome guys hello how you doing hello <laughs> hello here, here with mommy so this is mommy from meet Sanjela asking you to go to her, sub her channel and subscribe. subscribe yes and Mitch also Angelo. subscribe Miss Sanjela and also subscribe to my channel which is mommy meets youtube so show us show some love by watching our videos sharing them and subscribing all right subscribe guys yes. please subscribe guess what guess what today is my birthday <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to me! Yay! So, we don't really have nothing too fancy today. We just a chill a little like Devon knows. Me and mommy. We're we having ice cream. Yes, having ice cream. Left the kids with their daddy. It is so yummy. Mine and is mommy. all done. Mm, trust me guys, it's really nice. So this one is the strawberry cheesecake. And mine was... <laughs> Devon stout. Devon stout. Right, right. So it's a nice day. You see him bleaky early about kind of sun come out and alright now. But we're here. We're alright. And a lot of people are here buying ice cream. Right. Guys, trust me, it's a little pricey, but you 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 won't lose you're not losing no. It tastes good and you get yeah. a whole lot. When you finish your tummy full <laughs> <laughs> and you enjoy the ice cream. You know, um, I can't remember a long time we used to come for Devon House and at one point we used to buy, we used to buy Devon House ice cream. It was $350. Yeah. You know for what? $650 guys for a single scoop. Yeah. But As for the huge, double scoop. Very large. The double scoop I think of $1,500. The double. Yeah man and the waffle cone I think are over two thousand dollars. The price them gone up, everything gone up people. Not nasty I can get but and in spite of all the prices up. Huh? It's it still yeah, still them still better. maintain the people the nice original never knows ice cream flavor. They yeah. taste good. Taste and people good. still buying it. People still buying it, that's true. So you know, so them people in a broke, I lie them a tell. <laughs> lie them a tell. But I'm here giving thanks for another another year to my life. Last year a whole things gone. For the past three years since COVID come out, a whole of things gone. A lot of people died. A lot of people died. I'm still here. I'm giving thanks for another minute, for another second, for another hour, for another day. So when we come check me, I would say, you know, we could ditch the kids and just have a little time for ourselves so long and eat two ice, ice cream and relax. Yeah, so we're here. But to tell you the truth, we never really have nothing in mind. We are cancel we are talk <laughs> We are cancel we are going to talk about. How we don't know where to talk about. Well, we're talking about so, ice cream. I'm not sure. I'm going to share a story time with them. And you hear the noise in the background. We are close to the mirror. Yeah, we're close to the mirror. You can see the, are passing. the vehicles right there. Yeah, so the we, still, we get the feedback, the sound. Right, right. So, what have I got share? We can share one little experience with them. Oh, yes. The other day, may I remember, me and Bolton have a conversation. I remember, I remember, um, me and Sir Tim said, you know, said, oh, one thing, one thing with mommy. I'm a young guy, no man. I'm interested. You know, sometimes some persons would tell you, you know, so my parents never have it when they're younger, but even though they never have it, they never, it wasn't evident to others that you never have it because your, your parents ensure so you, your clothes well ironed and your place clean. And, and if you never really have the nicest of food, you ensure so your children them are fed with whatever it is that was provided. Oh, yes. And I can remember when. Was going to primary school. We got Portsmouth Primary, guys. We got Portsmouth Primary School. <laughs> I went to that school for maybe from grade one to to grade five. No grade five, man. Yeah, from grade one to grade five. And um, while going to that school, I can't remember. I mean, you remember? Um, sometimes there are a few times when you know never really have so much money, but mommy never prevent me from going to school. She said, "We got school same way." I can't remember like lunchtime she would have meet halfway. There was this area halfway. Cause you know Portmore, Portmore Primary, it's in Portmore. For those of you who right. know Portmore. 
is in Portmore, specifically in Portsmouth. And there is this, there was this um, tree on the roadside. Very nice shade tree, you know, we'd want to see it underneath it on the roadside. For the, in the areas that I would walk for go to school and mommy would meet me halfway right there so so you know say so this at the meeting point and bring me nice lunch come give me them a nice warm plate of food you know just cook and everything share out bring it come on me and know say so alright by lunchtime it's supposed to head out head out and meet her there so halfway me eat my lunch and she take back the plate and she carry it home and me go back to school oh my God. never stay home because of not having lunch money <laughs> Still so, go to school, still yeah. find something and prepare and take it and meet her and she eat and go back. Right. Because so, the main thing is for the child to have something in their stomach. Exactly. So from ever since, from a longer time I can tell you. Mommy she always a try, she always a try to push out as much as she can, you know. There was another case where one day, um, you know, we, we, we grew up in, in Portmore to be exact. And while we live in there, certain things we never really know because as kids we never really go into the country we used to this boiled food and the dumping and the banana we most like, you know, children sometimes specifically them rice and fried chicken and them type of food they don't really well, I food used to so put, much like boiled food guys, it's like half a bread food and it's mainly when soup time half a bread food because these children never used to eat those things and it's mainly like banana, dumping, rice all the main thing that they will see yeah definitely and I remember one at the time never have no lunch money to give you again and she said boy she now go stay home you know she has to go to school and my mother is the type of person she will take some little things and make fun of it make it fun and excited where you who not knowing what it is you just think of one of the best things, one of the greatest things this could have happened to me, you know? Boy! <laughs> and I can remember, I can remember when, <laughs> Lord Jesus, I can remember when Mummy, Mummy said she had to cook something for we go to school, in which we never have much, you know, but during the time we never have much, she never really make it so obvious to you, you know, because as I said, whatever it is that we have, she take it and she as them say, take her and turn fashion and that's, what, that, that's exactly what she did and she rig up something, cook it up, mix it up, whatever she may do and work her magic and you would never know say a poor people food this, you understand? you would make the best out of it based on the joy what she bring and the little happiness there and all of that you would think of one of the best things guys and I can remember when she, she prepared turn can meal, Lord Jesus Mommy prepared ton can meal, it. give me for gas and school. spice it up. <laughs> Who could I give picnic ton can meal for gas school these days? <laughs> Lord Jesus, <laughs> Mommy prepared turn can meal, give me for gas school. But guess what? Me never know what it was because, as we say, we are not the type of children who we eat certain things, so we're familiar with certain things. It's mostly just rice and chicken, as speaking. You know, any little thing she provides, we eat. We never like in question. She said, Mommy, what is this? What is that? What is. You understand? So when she prepared that now and she spice it up with her nutmeg and her vanilla and all of that, and she sugar. put. Right, because you know, normally people prepare her and call me with um, salt and them pumpkin and them coconut milk. She never had nothing like that. So she just used what she had, which was the little sugar and the little spice. And spice it up and season it up and flavor it up. And give me for that school. The and main guess idea what? is they have to go to school. <laughs> so if it's something they do, if it's food they don't have, try and find the food so that they can be in school. And I take that plate of food, you know, well excited you know, because when me ask mommy, I ask, I can remember ask her, mommy, what is this? Mommy say, it's cake. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy said, it's cake. <laughs> so, you know, say me well hype and hot now going to school with my cake. Because me, I bring cake to school where my mother make. You understand? And I can remember when we went to school, I'm a bust my plate with my food in you know, the man. 
I remember one little girl come over and she looking at my plate and she said, Mm-mm, how are that? Yeah, eat ton can meal. <laughs> me know it on my mind. Honestly, even though the girl said that, me still I eat with joy and you know that happiness. I still have no clue what it is. Me know what it and is and I don't know what it is. Enjoy it. Exactly. It tastes good. Right. And mommy at that time made it so joyous and so pleasurable for us to tell us that look, I am giving you this cake to go to school. <laughs> nice and you understand? So in yourself as a child you feel so happy and excited to eat this cake what your mother provide. You know, so the, the girl said, mm -mm, yeah, eat on car meal. And I continued eating my food because we just never believe her. You understand? But she was familiar, that girl was right. familiar. She was familiar but I wasn't. Was. So it was a long time afterwards now. Like for a while growing up, like in maybe in my teens coming up, I never really eat turn corn meal you know and up to this point that I got married when I got married and all of that I introduced it to my husband turn corn meal with sugar and he's like everybody go to and ask them you ever know turn corn meal with sugar yet he's like everybody turn corn meal with sugar <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> you understand say that was my mother invention <laughs> you understand so and why I really, I, those, those moments were very memorable, I can tell you, I never forget them. And up to this day guys, I can tell you, I am no one mother, I feared that me for my children. And when them ask me what it is, I tell them, it's cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's cake. I can tell you man, I feel, tell them it's cake and it, trust me, I, I just, I eat it while remembering her and what she did, you know? Boy, it was it was it was a good moment. You know you remember mommy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah man, we're here enjoying ourselves, you know?